Well, good morning, folks. For those American friends of mine, I'll get rid of the accent. Uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed your uh, Independence Day, July 4th. Uh, we just recently celebrated Canada Day on the 1st, and uh, I, I kept busy with my little guy. Um, went to a poutine fest, if you don't know what that is. Here in Canada, we like to eat way too much gravy and cheese curds. <laughs> and not only that, but we put that right on top of some greasy old French fries. Um, but yeah, my kid wanted poutine. He got poutine. He enjoyed it. And I'm sorry, but some people are going to correct me. It is actually pronounced poutine um, because it is, I believe, French. Um, so... Yeah, I'm not going to say it that way. It bothers me. <laughs> I don't know why. I grew up calling it poutine. Um, but yeah, so poutine fest here in our city and uh, fireworks. It was amazing. Anywho, I've let my black paint dry and I've printed off a stencil on my Cricut. You don't have to use a stencil. I just don't have time for much else. Um, I would just put it on by hand and then go from there normally. You guys have seen me do that before. This time, a stencil. Um, and all I do is stick it down real good as best as I can. Make sure there's no pieces lifting up so that the paint bubbles through. If it does, I can fix it with black paint afterwards anyway. Um, but yeah, I used a sponge to sponge on my gold paint. And now I it hasn't dried yet. It's still pretty wet. Um, but you can carefully peel off the stencil and fix everything. There's still bits of stencil that I have to get out of here. Um, but yeah, I am going to clean this up. It looks kind of fuzzy and uh, not very nice looking. I'm also going to go on the inside of the, let the gold and turn it black so that it looks like there's just a gold frame um, with the lettering. And uh, that's what we're going to do our magic in. So get yourself ready. Um, so yeah, I've been very, very busy. I'm packing, getting ready to move August 1st. Very, extremely excited. I cannot express how excited I am. Um, I'm feeling happy because I have things to look forward to. So you guys get a happy Rachel's Rocks video today. So I'm not gonna complain. Um, I'm going to thank you guys all for being patient again because it's been a little while since I saw you last. I'm really sorry. Um, once I'm moved and everything starts kind of settling in and I feel at home again, um, there's going to be way more regular videos, especially since it's summertime and I'm not having to uh, walk or bus my son to a different school. Um, yeah, it's been really weird the past few months, so I'm happy that uh, I get to settle down soon and spend more time with you guys. I have another one coming out after this one. I think I'm going to post it tomorrow um, because I haven't been around for a while, so I'm going to give you guys like two in a row um, this week, and hopefully next week there's going to be some more because I've got some started. Um... So I kind of cleaned up the gold lettering and it's still kind of wet, but you can wait for it to dry so that it works out better for you. Patience is very important sometimes when it comes to uh, painting, <laughs> which I don't have. So I am going right over top of that gold and I'm filling it in, filling all of my letters in so it looks like it was just outlined. You know how hard that is to outline so perfectly? Well, this is doing it backwards and it's a little bit easier. So there's some tips from me. So while I'm filling that in with black, I'm gonna explain once the black is dry, we're gonna be using some UV nail gel. And if you've been here for any length of time, you know I use nail stuff on my stones. So I'm going to be using a holographic glitter. 
uh, powder. It's not a, it's not a glitter. It's actually a powder or a dust, and it's from Born Pretty, which I got on Amazon. And I don't even know if I have a good link for that, but I will search for one and post it in the description of this video. Um, I'm going to be using not just the holographic glitter, but when I do some flowers up in a in a moment. Uh, we're going to be using some flakes, some color shifting metallic flakes for the flowers. So there's going to be a nice contrast between the lettering and the flowers and the dots. And this is going to look fabulous. Uh, that's a promise. And you can do it whatever colors you want, whatever makes you happy. Um, I really like blue blue purple i'm i'm a jewel tone kind of person i like all of those jewel tones um so you're gonna see some of that in here also i'm gonna be sticking some flat back crystals in here at the end um you'll see it happen well you're not gonna see it happen but i'll explain it a little bit later i'll show you when when i do it um but make sure that your black paint that you're filling in your lettering with right now, make sure it's completely dry before you start the whole process of doing the holographic powder. So that's why I'm going to draw on or paint on my flowers um, so that I can let my lettering dry a little bit. These are really simple flowers. As you can see, I'm not going all fancy schmancy on you. Very simple. We don't need to do too much this is gonna be a lot it might even be extra <laughs> okay um, so you might not want to do all the steps that I'm doing you think maybe it might be a little bit extra you decide on your own what you want to leave and what you want to get rid of because um, there's gonna be a lot going on here but it's still gonna look amazing uh, if you clicked on this you probably saw the thumbnail and that's the finished product. So still letting my lettering dry. I'm doing some cleanup, as you know, which is basically just thinning out and getting rid of gold bits that I don't like. Um, because when I first sketch it on, it's kind of thick. So I let it dry a little bit and then I thin it out using the black just makes it look a little more fancy, a little more dainty when it's thinner lines. And yeah, it's the same thing I do with the lettering. It might be a little thick at first, but you can always just thin it out with that black paint, which is what I'm doing now with that E, that curly E. I don't know why it travels all the way up there, but it does. <laughs> Looks nice. Um, so now that I have my petals thinned out, all the gold the way I want it. Um, I think that looks pretty good. I am going to do um, the lettering first though. I think that's that's going to be fun. So we're going to start with the H and I usually because the letters aren't connected in some areas I start with one letter at a time. It's just easier and then that E is really big. There's a lot to it. You got to make sure that you're careful. You don't let this gel like roll outside of the letters so you got to work quick so I just do one letter at a time and I use the brush in bigger areas to just put dabs of the the UV gel and then I use a dotting tool to kind of spread it out kind of like what you would do if you were decorating cookies with icing and stuff you just kind of spread it out and fill it into the letters so I usually with my UV light which you will need to use um, to cure it or you can let it sit out in the sunshine that'll cure it but you don't want to bring your bottle of UV gel out there because it'll be ruined um, so I put it in there for about well I first started with 99 seconds then I put it on for another 30 seconds uh, and that seems to work well with this powder and this UV gel but you're gonna have to test out your own stuff if you even have this stuff uh, available to you um, you test it out yourself to see how long it's got to cure and you can do that just on a piece of paper. So, um, put the gel on the paper, put it under the light, see how long it takes, use your powder, wipe it on there with a little makeup sponge 
and then you use a big brush to kind of dust away all the extra glitter that you don't need. And look at that. It's like magic. If you do not have the stuff to do this, you can just fill in your letters with glitter. You can get hologram 2796, I believe. Um, or there's also, oh, I have some here, so I'm gonna try and remember. I think it's called Dragonfly Glaze from Folk Art. Um, really pretty, um, very fine glitter acrylic paint. And you can use that in the letters as well as the flowers. It's completely up to you. Um, this glitter I received as a gift. Um, you know who you are, who sent me this beautiful, um, very beautiful metallic uh, glitter flakes, which works the same way as the holographic glitter. You have to use the UV gel, then you cure it under the lamp, and then you use the flakes, uh, and then you brush off all the extra flakes that you got everywhere, and that's not going anywhere. That's staying now. So uh, we have flowers. These flowers shift from purple to burgundy, kind of like a goldish green, and also blue. You can tell by the top flower, the way the light's hitting it, it looks blue right now. So it that, that stuff is fantastic. Thank you to the person who sent me that through my Amazon wish list, because that definitely is helping me create some beautiful, beautiful things. And there will be more tutorials in the future using these beautiful flakes as well. So thank you so much. Now I am outlining because the glitter sometimes sticks to the gold um, or it takes away like your perfect lining so that it's all uh, bordered in. So I'm, it's, I'm not using technical terms, you guys know that. Um, but I like to clean everything up once I'm done with my glitter and my flakes because I end up seeing little bits of gold that look like it's missing. Um, so once again, like you can tell on the leaves, it looks like it's kind of, the gold is kind of choppy, the lining of it. So I'm just going over it again. I don't want to take away from the gold. I want to keep that nice and beautiful and, and, and perfectly lined because I'm probably obsessed with the gold. <laughs> That's okay. We're allowed. We're allowed. But this just kind of cleans up the gold again after using the flakes and stuff. And now we can put the dots in. So I am i should have shown you how I mixed my colors, but I didn't. So I'll have to explain it. Um, but first, I'm going to start with the biggest dotting tool. And I'm using a lighter blue. And how I got this lighter blue is I used cerulean blue and I mixed it with a little bit of a drift. So a drift is kind of like a minty, almost a mint color. And I mixed it in with like a dark blue, like cerulean blue. So I made this color and basically the rock is going to be all different shades of cerulean blue with only using a drift. So I've, I've made a few different shades of blue by adding a drift, you'll see it. You'll understand. You don't have to do that. You don't have to mix your own paint colors. Um, you can just go in and, and do whatever. But this is how I do it. I just choose one color that's dark and one color that I'm gonna use to lighten it. It just makes it easier for me. So I started off with big dots, then I've got medium dots. Now I'm going in and filling it in with small ones. So this is how I do this part of it. I'm sure you guys have seen me do this before. Um, and make sure you get every little nook and cranny with that color, because if you're changing your colors by adding darker blue, like I'm going to, you're not gonna see this color again in your palette, it's gone. So make sure you get everywhere that you were supposed to before you move on to the next one. So I basically just highlighted the word hope with that lighter blue. Now I'm adding a little bit more cerulean blue to that. Get my big daughter out again. And I'm gonna go around putting the big dots around where I want this shade of blue to end up. 
And this is a long process. If anyone knows dotting, it takes patience and time and you got this. <laughs> you put on a documentary or some really nice music and grab yourself a snack or a glass of wine or a coffee and it's going to take you a little bit. But it's fun and it looks really beautiful when it's done. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't want to do the dots, just leave it black with the beautiful, the word and the flowers. It'll look gorgeous. So, um, once again, I'm only here to inspire you, I'm not trying to tell you what to do. So I'm filling it all in. I got my medium dots going in now. You can steal from the bigger dots so you don't have to always go back and forth to the paint tray because look at I'm stealing. I'm just stealing it from everywhere. I'm not barely going back to my paint tray. <laughs> Those big dots have lots of paint in them and it goes a long way. So another tip from me, make sure you get every little bit like inside that little H. You see where it's black inside that little loop there? Ooh, good thing I got that because I would never be able to go back to it again. I'd have to remix the paint, make it look almost the same. Um, so basically what you're going to see is it's going to gradually from the word in the center of the rock, it's lighter. Um, but when you get to the outside of the rock, it gets darker and darker and darker. And it might be too dark for you. You might not like that. You can use shades of purple, shades of green. You can do shades of uh, pink, burgundy. Um, you can start with some magenta and work it out to like a coral uh, totally up to you what you want to do. Um, this is something that you can make like 10 stones. They all look the same, but they're all different colored dots. Um, you can do a rainbow one where it starts off like in the center with red and then goes out to orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. It's up to you. Totally up to you. Um, there's a lot that you could change and a lot you can do with this. But... The meaning behind it, who doesn't need a little hope once in a while? So there's beauty, ah, so much beauty, such a wonderful meaning. And I think that's why I make them so often. They make me feel happy. <laughs> if I just see the word hope, it's like, ah, there's hope. <laughs> I am waiting. There is like the calm before the storm right now outside it's very dark and it's gonna be a big storm today I think and that's okay we need the rain um, but I'm hoping that it holds off until I'm done recording for both of the videos I'm putting up this week so keeping my fingers crossed that you guys don't hear it or that the power doesn't go out in the middle of this this, I'm working very fast, but that's because I've sped up this video. You'd be asleep by now if I didn't. So there it is. What do you think? I'm going to put some Swarovski crystals, flat backs, in the centers of the flower. And then I'm going to go resin it. And then I will show you what it looks like after it's been resined. Make sure you let them dry really, really good before you resin. Um, there's a lot of dots there, so let it dry really well and you're going to see it again in a minute. Maybe I'll even show you a couple of things that I've painted recently. So you stay right there and I'll be right back. Well, here's one bougie. I've had a couple requests. I might be actually doing a tutorial on this one very soon. So let me know in the comments if you're interested. Um, it's another one that I used those flakes on. Same with this beautiful Hamsa with an evil eye. Um, I used lots of that uh, flake on that one too. Now, since I didn't have much to show you, I'm just going to show you some pictures from the Poutine Fest. Um, it's my little guy, Jax. He's having some delicious poutine. I think that's probably one of his favorite foods. But also... We got these mini donuts and they have like cinnamon and sugar on them and they're made right there in front of you and they are dangerous to say the least. We got a whole bucket and then we had to find friends to share them with. 
<laughs> they were very, very good. Um, it was an awesome time. I'm going to give you a warning. There is going to be fireworks in a second. So if you don't like that, skip through. Um, this is our fireworks um, display. And it was beautiful. We had a lot of fun. There were thousands of Canadians there to celebrate. Um, yeah, it was an awesome time. I had really, really good time with my son. First time just me and him. Um, but it was amazing. Our fireworks, just a little bit. Lots of people. Lots of very happy comedians. <laughs> so here is the finished product. I've stuck the crystals on. I resined, let it sleep in its resin bath overnight. Um, I brought it out into the sunshine so that you can actually see with these flakes that the changing colors. Now it's purple and and maroon like it's just so beautiful um let me know what you guys think i've had fun i've missed you stay tuned tomorrow there's going to be another one i love you guys you know what i'm going to tell you to do right i'm going to tell you i love you and keep painting i'll see you soon bye